we're going to try something different. We're going to run a new series called Stupid Video Tricks. If you've ever ordered a package in the mail and it came to you shipped with some of this and you threw this away, then you probably threw away a vital piece of equipment in film. Now this is commonly known in the film industry as beat board. Beat board is just polystyrofoam board that we add a backing to, to make it a little bit more stiff, and we use it as bounce material. Or more likely something like this. This is so common in the film industry. Every time I, I've gone out and I've worked on a film, we buy tons of this, mostly in four foot by eight foot sheets, and then we end up cutting them down. So we have some eight footers, some four by fours, some two by fours, some two by twos. Even some people love circular bounces, but uh, that's gonna cost money. Those foam boards are not really cheap. I think they're, I can't tell you the price, but I'm gonna guess they're about a hundred bucks each. And then a lot of times what they do is you'll take a piece of foam core and put foam core on it and tape it together to make this a little bit stronger. And then the foam core can cost you a little bit of money, especially if you're buying large sizes like two by four or four by four. This is roughly two by three ish size. It might be a little bit bigger than three. It's definitely not two by four, but Hell, it was free from the mail. So instead of throwing this piece away, I'm gonna convert this into my own beat board, foam poly board bounce, okay? And another little piece of thing that I'm gonna use is just stupid cardboard. Instead of eating up my foam core, because I'm never gonna use this as a bounce. I mean, maybe I can. I get some nice color, weird color contrast as a bounce. It won't reflect a whole lot of light, but it'll give me some strange colors on facial tones and things like that. But I'm never gonna use this one side as a bounce. I'm gonna use this, this poly side as the bounce because it's gonna give you such a soft bounce features. You don't want hard bounce coming in you want a soft bounce. That's where reflectors are not so great because reflectors have hard white bounces or silver or gold. These photography reflectors, that's not what you wanna go for. You wanna go for something subtle, bouncy, just lift up whatever light into here or under the eyes or anything like that. So that's, that's really what you wanna go for. And then the second part is we're taking trash and we're making treasure, okay? So I'm gonna cut this up, and then the other thing we're gonna use is some Kupo gaff tape. Now, if I was back home in the United States, I would not use this. I, I do, we use something like Pro Gaff or somebody else. Um, as far as gaff tape. If Kupo, you're ever watching this crap, this is not gaff tape, this is really duct tape. So I don't really care. I'm just gonna get rid of this tape since it's just some sticky, messy duct tape. And I'm gonna use that to cut this. So I'm just gonna cut this out and then tape it on and we'll see the final result.
Okay, we put it all together and this is what we got. We got us a pro level film bounce, something commonly used on every movie set in the world. And we did this with trash materials. Uh, gaff tape, that's gonna probably cost you about $30, but who says you have to use gaff tape? You can use duct tape, like a white duct tape is I would, what I would suggest. I wouldn't go silver duct tape. But we could have bought this for like 20, 40 bucks maybe. Or we could just go dig through the trash and get us one of these. Work just as good. So that's our stupid tip. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, like, blah, 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 blah. We'll see you in the next video.